Hey, what's up, guys? Well, we're back here, and today we are going to be playing some Beast Hunter. Uh, why? Because I found a list playing the Titan, and as you guys know, I want to play every single Titan. I want to try a deck that plays at least all of them. I've actually found a list for every single class now. So if you go back the past three, four days, we've played uh, four so far, I believe. Rogue, Warlock, or sorry. We played Warlock, we played Warrior, we played Priest. Is that it? No, we played one more. Death Knight. We also played the Death Knight one. And now, we are going to be trying the Hunter one, which gives you a 3-3 weapon, which is pretty okay. He can give your weapon plus to attack, and you're immune while attacking. Give your weapon after your hero attacks, summon a 3-3 enforcer with taunt, and give your weapon after your hero attacks, draw a card. So basically, you kind of built your own mini Kingsbane. Uh, it's pretty cool. You got an achievement for getting another Hunter card. Um, but yeah, or else it's just Beast Hunter. Pretty typical, you know, punch with big things, hope it works out. Use uh, Stranglehold and Heart to res everything. And yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, how about we queue up the first one and let's see how it goes. All right, guys, yeah. With that being said, I will see you guys all in the first game. All right, so I guess we have to play against Secret Mage as our first matchup. You guys know how I feel about this. Hard mill everything and hope it's good enough. Okay. Where did I put it? Pocket. My pocket. Beautiful. By the way, sorry if you guys hear Discord notifications. Uh, I'm expecting a message from someone. This. Uh, cycle this. We don't need any opener. Here. Okay, so we're probably coining out weapon next turn. Yeah, we can just coin out weapon here. Look around and find out with it. Um. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure just coin weapon here is fine. I wish that was at the bottom of the deck. Get hopefully some zero cost cards for this. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, but I think I just take this because it's zero mana, basically. And then next turn I can attack. Put the Shade Hound into my hand. Off going Starving Buzzard guy. And yeah. Just really hope that works out, I guess. I can also just develop this first. Like, dredge, then develop this. Um, But at the same time, I think I just want to... Let's kind of say fuck the world. It's an anti creature one, because of course it is. Uh, punch. I'm gonna put the, the, the shade hunt on top. I'm gonna get a. Uh, this would have been so good if not for. Um, I'd rather take this over the, the spring paw. So, shade hunt won't have charge, which really sucks. Or, rush, which really sucks. It also really sucks again that he was explosive ruins and not it was like that was counter spell. Uh, I think I just won the game here straight up. Straight up, I'm ninety percent sure the game was a dub. It's kind of just unfortunate that it was what it was. Yeah, talk with the one one, see what it is. Really good. Look, it's not counter spell one time. Fine. It's fine, I guess. So now I can get the one one rush. Okay. 
Are you fucking serious? Are you really serial? Oh, right, well, that sucks. I hate this game. I'm one minute off like every play that does something. Bad. Can you do? He's gonna draw three here because I was not able to deal damage in this turn. Yeah, secret mage being secret mage. Very fun. He got so f his secrets were perfect every single turn. This is why I hate this deck. Like straight up, this is the sole reason I hate this deck. It's so toxic. It never feels like he can do anything to play around with the fuck he's doing. Just dead. Turn three explosive runes. If that was the Oasis ally or the rigged fair games, he had lost the game. Next turn had the or turn two turns later. What he had the Oasis ally plus RNG, the one secret that gives you a top minion. And well, I mean, there's also bear trap, but that requires me punching him in the face. And I wasn't able to kill the six six, so I took nine damage because of that. Like, yeah, there the. There's, there's just nothing I could have done there. That's really, really unfortunate. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's queue up the next one. For real? Can people, like, fucking find a deck that is not Secret Mage? Like, I am so done playing against this bullshit-ass deck. Like... This game is gonna be so fun. I'm gonna feel like I'm actually like able to do something, definitely. And brain dead ass pile of cards. Oh, it's open the way gate. Yeah, we actually kinda have a chance now. Uh something you can't easily answer. What's this? Your opponent has played different. Jokes on you. I don't think there's any spell schools in this entire deck. I'll force him to do the trades. If he has two removal spells he's willing to burn here, I'm very fine with that. Hmm. Well, that's probably objection because it's the single best one he can have here. Do I play into it or do I play around it? Punished. Punisher using my brain. I guess Starving Buzzard's actually just better anyways next turn. I could draw an additional card, which is kind of important. He's going for a turbo complete. That only works if he actually has like spells and shit like that in hand. Best case scenario here, I guess, is he hero powers down the three one, plays something and kills one of my other one ones. So I can just slam Shadehound that's rocked. Buff my board out of his hero power range. Force him to have fire sale. To be fair, if he has fire sale here, I probably like should just concede, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. He hit the fire sale. 
Was Far South his rip for turn? Yeah, no, thank Jesus. Hmm. I lose the game as I'm off by one. Fuck me dead. Oh well. Oh well. Super punished, I guess. Off by one damage to proc one of his two blocks. At least I know he can't draw a block here. Which means he has to be holding spells that do something or else i'm fine my hero power proxim uh yeah he has a lot of spells that cost more than three so his odds of drawing a secret are low or drawing ice block is low unless he's holding the second one yeah i'm gonna punch with the seven one here on his dome instead of just hero powering uh for the main reason is he can draw fire sail coming up with all my creatures having three health i don't really want to play into it like that it's not ideal and yeah just hope it hope it goes well from there i guess probably will not use any of my mana unless i draw a weapon in which case i'll develop a weapon um also develop tavish yeah so there's tavish agram or weapon are the only ones that i'd actually play here I think he left though. I think he got tilted at the fact that I actually had the seven one in hand. Or the shade hound. I need to stop referring to creatures by their power and toughness. Uh it's something that I know I do a lot and that for new players it would be very confusing. But yeah, the seven one here is the, the shade hound. There's also the seven one's not its base stats, right? So Yeah. There's also a force here to burn the, the serpent. And if he had another block, I was forced to get something poisonous. Beautiful. Alright, that was much more enjoyable than the secret mage opponent. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's skip the next one. Alright, a rogue. Keeping this is super greedy, but I think I'm going to do it. Keeping the cards I'm keeping in the Serpent Bloom and the Shade Hound are very, very greedy in this position. The Serpent Bloom is kept because I'm presuming I'm playing as an aggro deck. So with multiple potential draws at uh, Dreadscale, this plus Dreadscale is a wipe the board and force him to have an answer that's not punching him in the face twice. Punching in the face twice, I'd probably come out ahead. It being Kingsbane is a problem for me, but hopefully I can get through it. That is huge. I want the Shade Hound here, though. I wanted to get that anyways with this. So next turn, I'm going to attack with this. Get two zero mana, two three taunts. Use them to protect my board somewhat. That's like perfect draw. Yep, I'm gonna get my my two three taunts. Oak here. Wait for it. This is a very interesting take as well. I'll take that probably second. So now I have two two three taunts to play here. Force a board wipe. If he has it, force the Blade Flurry next turn. I'm only going to probably play one. I'm going to probably go one, two, three, Lynx, Timberwolf. And then next turn go the second two, three. This way, not both of them get eaten by the Blade Flurry if he has it. 
Oh, I think that is the right call here. Uh, let's start with this. Yeah, let's start with this. Take the tundra. Build this, this, this. Go with her. So, tundra is three plus five. Three plus five is eight minus one. That's seven. So I need to attempt to survive till turn seven. We had the blade flurry. I figured he did. Um, nothing I could realistically do to play around it. I don't think. I just need to force another second one. Developing this. This is the most interesting force. Oh, this is actually just better. I can develop this now to buff this. Again, if he has the second blade flurry, he has the second blade flurry. I have seen some lists playing that in the ETC. Um, so he'd also have to have ETC. Uh, if he has the removal spell one, it's also good. He has it, because of course he does. He's a Kingsbane player. They always RNG it. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, well, he hit it. That's a one-up in the deck. Sucks. What can you do? He, he hit double cutting class. He hit turn three Kingsbane plus kill your 1-1, one, one, give it plus three attack. In reality, his draw was, like, basically perfect, and there is not much I could have done. Like, any deck kind of loses to that, unless you have steal your Kingsbane. If I was able to steal his Kingsbane, I would have won. Easy. But I was unable to, so fuck me, I guess. Even though I played it properly with, like, the 2-3 and whatnot. It sucks, but what can you do? Let's queue up the next one. Alright. Another rogue, another game I probably just end up losing to bullshit. I should have probably kept the alley cat if I had the one drop. Got the one drop back. All right, well. Oh no, it's Edwin. Edwin is a much easier matchup if I'm being honest. All right, I'll, I'll just run this here. Edwin is a much easier matchup for the sole reason that my my removal feels better right again that the combo i told you about with the serpent bloom plus the dread scale it's pretty good uh against them obviously so hopefully hopefully it works out but no no guarantees oh is it actually mech he's about to be really sad though That's not a beast. That's a beast. That's a beast. I do kind of want to get the Agrimar. That's fine. Also, by the way, I hope everybody has a beverage. I'm currently uh, drinking myself some Coke. Might be a little bit of a spicy Coke, but hey, you know me. Uh, do 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 do. So many potential draws. I could have played this first, actually. There's the dread scale I want. I can get this later on. All right. I have the second weapon in hand as well. If he wipes the board, Shade Hounds up. If he kills three things, two things? Two more things, Shade Hounds up. Oh, that sucks. This, I guess, here. Let's probably just develop both of these. Unless he plays something I can kill with this that I want to kill. 
Uh, I don't need to kill that. I'd rather just double drop. Poke that there. Punch face with everything else. Shade Hound's up most likely next turn. Um, so the combination of just Shade Hound punch buff all my one ones up to three threes might just be good enough. I've never hit that one. It's insane to me that this gives stealth permanently. Straight up, I never thought I'd see the day where a card gave stealth permanently again. The last time a card gave stealth permanently, it was a rogue minion that combo gave stealth permanently. And it created uh, like a weird interaction between that and Malganus back in the day. And basically Malganus, when you'd give it um, the stealth, no one could realistically deal with it. So it just became like game winning. Okay, I think I go for this here. It sucks because I lose out on a lot of value. But I need to stop this thing from being that thing. I do lose a lot of creatures though. Beautiful. I don't know why I clicked my hero power thinking I was rogue. Um. Yeah, force him to the answer here. If he has the rush, he has the rush. If he doesn't, I mean, I win the game. Because no. he needs to hit exactly the rush to be able to kill it. Or punch it twice over two turns. Punching it twice over two turns means he takes nine this turn. So four, then nine on my turn, then four again on his turn. There's no way he's able to survive past that. At that point, I'm pretty sure Hero Power just kills him the next turn with my weapon, so... Yeah. Anyways, with that being said, let's uh queue up. The next one all right guys yeah these games go by so fast jesus as yeah i'll see you guys all in the next one okay a priest i swear i have not seen like half the classes in this game so far this update this activates this on uh two technically if he wipes my board every turn i'm guessing it's big priest so this game is going to go miserably but fuck around and find out Oh, it's not. It's control. Hey, Tundra Rhino. I like Tundra Rhino. Really good card. All right. All right. All right. God damn, I love Coke. None of these cost zero. Or cost one. R.I.P. Feels bad. Although, I mean, it feels bad, but yet... I gotta go with that plus this next turn. Kind of forces hero power on the 1-1, the one -one, because it's more damage than this. And I get a poke for a fair amount of damage. 4-7. Alright. Oh, one thing I kind of did want to talk about. Uh, I guess the day before this goes up, so... The Tuesday... I actually want to go see the Barbie movie. Um, honestly, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I, I had, like, read a little bit about the movie beforehand, so I kind of knew what I was getting into going to watch it, but... All I have to say is people saying that it's a super political movie. If you turn your brain off, it's really not. <laughs> uh, it, it was... Yeah, and it was... It was you know, a normal story, in my opinion. Nothing special about it. Uh, that's fine. Something I can play? Pain? I can't, I can't even play this to poke it. I'll have to play this next turn. I think I played this and I pick summon three threes off the first one. Um, And then off any subsequent ones. Oh, you fucking cunt. This is so fucking tilting. Maybe I draw a weapon here. Drawing a weapon here would be dope. I love drawing fake card into fake card. <laughs> We're playing an aggro deck and we have found, what, two cards that cost less than three mana? So it's a little bit tilting. He also has Reno on curve because why not? Oh, there's my one drop. You would have been so good like three turns ago. Uh, 
I could actually, t I should probably actually take the draw. So the problem, if I take the draw, he can kill it easily. If I take this one, kill the 3 2. He has to punch with that. He only has six damage. I might get a sick activation. I feel like I have to do this. This feels a little bit necessary here. I'm actually thinking maybe if I can build up a board of small enough beasts, he might not think to wipe it. And then curve out, turn 10, Shade Hound, Tentra Rhino, and just kill him. Uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to force something out by hitting... Oh, the problem is I can't even hit that now. I'd, I'd probably have to hit uh, Tavish here. To have any form of actually being able to come back into this game. But I think I'm too far behind. My draw was really fucking slow. Three turns of just hero powering to get cucked by Areno. Kind of says I lose the game. Oh, that changes everything. Straight up changes every fucking thing in the game. I'm about to play this so fucking aggressively. Knowing that he's out of Reno, I feel like I can play super aggressively. And if he wipes, I have Stranglehorn. I'm hoping to hit the second Shade Hound, and I'll just slam a naked Shade Hound, or turn Tango Shade Hound plus Tundra Rhino. Even if I have nothing else on board, just punch him in the face for a bunch. Just way the Stranglehorn hits Tundra Rhino. Oh wait, this is all, right? Yeah. I would love to hit Shade Hound, or Hydralodon. I just know I can't really from this position, so it's a little bit rough. What did he take off the... Trying to think what people play. That's fine. That doesn't actually matter. A really nice draw. I'm sadly one mana off doing this plus this. Also, it sucks that he actually positioned properly. Okay. Yeah, next time I go Tantra. Hopefully I draw another beast that's not the Tantra right now, so I don't, like, show my play too much. Right now he has to find a small board wipe. Okay, well I go back up to full health. It's fine. I'm gonna punch her in the face with the Tundra right now. Hopefully I hit another... Hopefully I hit something like a Starving Buzzard. And then just like... Oh, that's such a fun draw. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Next one could be Starving Buzzard. But this way I can go Hydralodon plus Tundra right now next turn. And that just wins the game. It floods the board with a whole bunch of shit that could punch. Oh my god. I didn't think I was going to be able to come back in this game. I beat Arena, so I'm not too worried. Because we're going to be rich. Telling me that we're going to be rich is actually more damage. He did put himself low enough to where he just dies to... I should have taken a small beast. Wait, I have lethal on board with my weapon. Well. I'm assuming he put that on minion because he saw that I just ran out of tundra right now, so... Actually, the mad lad fucking put it on spell. Stop the cap.
I expect it to be 100% on minion. Oh, maybe he thought, all right, well, he ran out his shit willy-nilly. My guess is he has the second Tundra Rhino in hand. And then went for that. I mean, I went through Hydralodon here now, but... This is a... Did he hit the guy really that makes my minions cost more? If he did, I'll fucking cry. Because then I actually lose the game. If he RNG'd that well, there's nothing I could have done. That's fine. I'll let me go. This is more damage overall. Oh, let's go. Got there. Not even close, baby. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll take it. I shall take it. Anyways, let's collect our shit. Ooh, Golden Prison of Yogg. Standard pack. Look, these guys. I'm gonna have a reroll. What does card even do? She's a friendly minion at a temporary copy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, and some achievements. Collect all those. Oh yeah, I beat Blackrock. Um, in that one game mode mercenaries um i'm i'm like in a really weird position i'll probably complete this i'll probably complete this by we get to by the time we get to the last titan i don't know if i'm missing any legendaries that are non oh i'm missing one that's a non-titan related one so um i guess i can always give that one uh today i'm gonna save the gold uh, as I've been doing, because we have a whole bunch of mercenary packs. Ooh, ooh, pod, that could be Ysera. Legendary. It's not Ysera. Feels bad. That looks dope, though. I, that, that's a really sick looking, uh, portrait. Jandis. Samro. I've actually been using Samro. He's pretty good. He's actually really fun to play with. I've been using him with, um, his item that is... Uh, your clone summons an extra one. It's pretty dope. Oh my god, so many legendaries. I've also used him. He's also pretty cool. But I think he would be pretty good in a demon base build. And I, again, I'm trying to max out all the heroes. So I don't really have a good build yet. But soon. Oh, it's only an epic one. Epic. I don't even know if I have any coins for this character. Straight up, I don't know if I have any. I've never seen him. Ooh, Arana. I actually just got Arana. I think I crafted her. Wow, only coins? Feels bad. That's the first time I think I've ever seen one of those. Hog? Oh, it's not legendary. Epic. Vosh. Yo, I kind of want to see if I can build a Naga-themed uh, build. Oh, this could be a Sarah. Oh, it's Longzin. Longshin? Not Yasera, but another dragon for my six dragon build. Epic Sneeds. Pretty dope. But we are getting close to having all the mercenaries. I didn't, like, I straight up, when I was going into, all right, I'll complete mercenaries, or I want to play mercenaries. Like, real quick, if I just come here. I'm missing, obviously, I'm still missing a few, but like, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all. Nine. I guess I'm missing ten in the protectors. Let's change. Let's change his skin. I don't know how many of you guys have actually played this game mode. I'm assuming the answer is like zero. Uh, where's the other new guy? Well, I have all of his skins. I like the one where he's in the bath the best. It looks pretty. It looks pretty dope. Here, Samro, finally. Hit him with this. Yeah, I want. I'm saving his coins to upgrade uh, the Whirling Blade. But yeah, this card is really cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got a new Anaconda skin. Oh, this one still looks the best. 
Bosch and just a new one in general. You can change his skin finally. One where he's just straight up in a different pose. <laughs> uh, but we're getting there. Let's see, I want the soap. For those who are wondering, the up arrow means that you can upgrade uh, one of their cards or, yeah, you can upgrade something in them. So, yeah. I don't know. I've actually, ooh, I can actually craft Gul'dan. Kind of tempted. Another Dargan. Do I have all of your skins now, too? I do. The last one is the best looking one. I'm super hyped I opened Vosh. I still want to try, I want, as I said, I want to try building a Naga thing. Yeah, so what I'm still looking for, Onyxia, Nizza. Uh, cool, then I actually might just craft tomorrow. See if I can pleat the ones I'm working on now. Um, Sylvanas. Kind of want Crush, because King Crush. Diablo would also be cool. Cthulhu is like, also kind of want to do Old Gods, Yasharge. Uh, Deathwing, I think, is the last one. And Ysera. I don't know if I said Ysera, but yeah, Deathwing. But yeah, no, I've actually been really enjoying Mercenaries. I would definitely recommend giving it a, a, a look if you guys have not yet. If you guys just have never touched the game mode, I know it's very daunting to get into. But it's it's fairly simple, and honestly, playing through the game, you get a lot of the stuff. So it's it's pretty good in that regard as well. Anyways, you can see, look, I still need to craft two more titans. Fuck, how many legendaries? Was I? I am getting s my my ADHD is fucking going off at the next level. Uh, three legendaries total, three cards total. It's the two titans and the neutral one. So if I hit this tomorrow, I might actually just craft the last two titan. Oh no, it's here. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a thing. One of the things I wish kind of, it, it, since it gives you a random standard legendary, I kind of wish that if you had all the standard legendaries, it gave you the option of getting dust or it gave you the option of getting a wild legendary or it just straight up gave you a wild legendary. So this way, like one, it can help new players that they want to get into Titan or into wild and they already have all the legendaries, but hey. anyways, for beast hunter deck felt actually weaker than it did before, but I think that's because the matchups we hit were not exactly its best matchups. Uh, Secret Mage is really bad for it. The Rogue ones felt it felt really good. Felt really, really good. Dread Steel combo is still insanely good as it's always been when it's been played. It hasn't always been played. Like I know it was never played at the start because you didn't have this. But once this got printed, this combo started appearing in decks. And it's felt really, really good. But yeah, no. Overall, I would definitely recommend this. Like, I do think you can hit Legend with this one uh, fairly easily. Would recommend it. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we will get some more dubs. Alright guys, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace!